I am here at Spiritual, Spiritual Quest and I am picking up a new Himalayan salt lamp. This is the warehouse, but she won't let me go back. Hold on. So this size is the mountain size, and this size is the one that I'm interested in getting. These are the sizes that I have in my home. This size back here is, I think it's just called Giant. And these are little candle holders. But they all take the lights from the inside. See the ribbons here that go through here? It's a darker pink Himalayan salt, so it gives you a more, you know, uh, variant color with the light shining through. Okay, so this is the giant size, and this is the mountain size. Yes. And that's the mountain. So out of these two, I'm going to pick this one. That one's going to go in my den, and this one's going to go in my office to replace the smaller one in my office. That's, I'm going to put on my nightstand in my bedroom. Here are my salt lamps. This is what I currently had on my, in my spiritual center. And this one is pretty much seven and a half inches tall. So... It worked for as long as I used it. And I actually have plug I have it plugged in so you can see that's off and that's on what it looks like lighted up. So when you buy the salt lamps, they're actually Himalayan salt lamps. They do come with cords and they also give you the little tiny lights. Now the light is pretty much the size of a Christmas light bulb. So you can illuminate it with any color you want, red, blue, orange, you know, yellow. I just have a regular white light bulb in mine. <clears throat> so look at the detail in the rocks. So this one is the one that's gonna go in my office. This size is called the Giant. And this one was $79. And this one is Pretty much, if you go by its highest peak back here, it's pretty much 13 inches. On the website, it says 13 to 18. So I don't know, maybe you can specify you want the largest giant. I handpicked mine because I'm just coming back from the store. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the footage that they let me record inside the store. Okay, so this one is the giant and that one was 79. This one is the mountain, and this one was 159. So this is going to go in my den. So this one's pretty much 17 inches, but at its highest peak, yeah, I guess it's still about 17 inches. I also bought these salt rocks, and <clears throat> these are actually, let's see if I can show you the tab, 100% pure Himalayan bath salts. And what you do is, they have directions. It says, directions, place entire bag in a warm bath, let soak for seven to 10 minutes, remove and reuse for next time. So the Himalayan salt baths, you can actually use these warm or cold, the salt rocks, you can use these, um, Warm or cold, you can put them in the microwave and heat them up and you can hold them in your hand and they draw the energies into your body for healing. Or you can put them, like they say, in your warm bath. So they can be used hot or cold. You can pretty much just hold them in your hand for, um, you know, a length of time. Sometimes they, if you go to wellness spas, they use the pretty nice round ones they align your spine and they do massages with them. They place them in various spots on your body where that needs healing. But the purpose of the Himalayan salt lamps is to remove all the ions, the negative ions in the air. So if you have like 
my office has, you know, my laptop in there, my computer, my cell phone charger, all these things that are bringing ions into your home, you need something to counteract that because these ions actually, they seep into our bodies, into our pores, into our brain, you know, they, they confuse our wiring system. So um, you need something to counteract that and I'm a spiritual by nature, I am, am, am a goddess, aka Goddess Lily, and I do Reiki healings. I'm a certified Reiki healer and I actually, people email me from all over the world asking for healings and I just respond with two words, uh, healing completed. So um, if you want to email me for healing, my email is in the bottom of all my videos. I don't even need to know your ailments, although some people tell me, you know, just what's going on with them. I just do a spiritual Reiki healing during my meditation and I just include that person's name or email or hand or whatever into my meditation for healing. So, but you can do your own healing. You can draw, you know, the energies from the universe into your aura and heal your own body. So, this, having these salt lamps in your home will give you so many good benefits. Um, Anti-aging, it sort of, sort of like starts releasing the toxins in your body every time you come closer in contact with it. It slowly starts releasing all the toxins that's built up in your body, freeing it. So, you know, it provides a whole lot of youthfulness, anti-aging remedies. I mean, just touching it and rubbing it and circulating that energy throughout your body and you can rub and get the energy and heal any parts of your body. Just Google Himalayan salt lamps or Himalayan bath salts. You know, just Google Himalayan um, salt lamps and just look at all the powerful benefits that comes from this as far as healing your body. So, um, I think that's all I have to share. I can pretty much show you their business cards. Um, it's called Spiritual Quest. And they have a website. And they are also <laughs> looking for distributors. They asked me if I would like to be a distributor. Okay, so this is what my spiritual center looks like with the new um, salt lamp. Much bigger, much more prominent. So I have uh, my spotlight off so you can see the glow. So I'll turn it on. And I have everything that's on this shelf has a personal meaning to me. Either was given to me by someone that I met at a, you know, a spiritual conference or a yoga conference, and they said, "Here, I want to give you this," or uh, some things I bought myself. These are all my angel cards. Sometimes I'm led in the morning to open up one of these stacks and pull a card out and share it on my social media. And I do that, I'll take a picture of the card and then thank God for the microphones on our cell phone because I will read what the card means and it'll just type it in for me. So um, I always burn oil. Uh, these are just different types of oil lamps uh, that I have. This one, this is an oil lamp. The card's out the way. They, they all, um, you know, have, take the tea light candles. It's not lit though. And uh, this crystal was given to me and I was told that every time there's a full moon to set it out overnight for the 24 hour period and let it recharge and then bring it back into my home. So, um, there you have it. Thank you for watching.